We often are intimidated by people and things we know little about. Some people are naturally more intimidating than others and sigmas are born with this hallmark. They don't need to go an extra mile to learn this attribute because it naturally occurs in them. Nobody knows sigmas too well. They are full of surprises and being rare and this unique makes them intimidating and mysterious. You can't read a quiet person's mind nor try to guess what he is going to say or do next and the reasonable thing anyone can do in this case is keep their distance. Sigmas are silent beings. Some are well known today because of their vows of silence. They are quiet for obvious reasons which do not appeal to the general public. They are quiet because they hate small talk even though it is through small talks that people get to know each other. It is through conversation that people share their common interests, hobbies and passions with others. If they don't talk, people won't get to know them and they won't get to bond because people bond easily over shared interests. Their love for obscured hobbies and obsession about passions that only them can understand makes it even difficult for people to bond with them over small talks. Is there a chance Sigmas can bond over small talks? Yes, and possible. Only when you share the same professional interests with them, read the same books and do things like them, only then is bonding through small talk possible. The adage slow water runs deep is often attributed to the quiet nature of sigmas and how deep they can be in thinking. Quietness offers sigmas a backdoor to boring conversation. It is commonplace to find sigmas absent-minded among friends when the discussion no longer interests them. It might sound weird to you that sigmas actually carve out time from their busy schedules to be alone, to do nothing but think and recharge. Sigmas are obsessed with controlling everything around them. Every process should follow a system, a system where they are at the top of the chain, instructing and delegating others while agitating being told what to do by hierarchy. Sigmas are no one's boss, neither do they enjoy having a boss around to micromanage them. Sigmas are lone wolves for a reason, and the primary cause is control. Every Sigma wants to be the one to decide on the next move, when to switch from a boring task to the next exciting one, when to work and when to quit. Most Sigma males are self-employed, working for themselves for the same reason. They hate to be controlled and love to be in charge. This paradox makes them exceptionally good bosses because they know when to cut the other person some slack. Another reason why they like to be alone and work alone is because they find it easy exerting control on everything around them. Mastering their own minds and putting their affairs on autopilot, they can be controlling when they choose to, especially when they are pushing for an agenda or want their idea to be considered above everyone's own. Less competent bosses find sigmas very intimidating. They are fond of sidelining them and taking over. Most often than not, these bosses will drift towards sigmas for advice and stuffs. When sigmas finally take charge, they want to know every minute detail of the process. They want to have a minute by minute progress of the work and enjoy being bombarded with information which they in turn use to make informed decisions and maintain their grip over the whole process. Sigmas are well known for their ability to analyze not only complex issues but trivial ones too. Nothing can escape their gaze and people tend to be cautious when dealing with them. Every Sigma is thorough, closely examines facts one at a time before making the final decision. They rely on analysis to paint the complete picture of any project for easy understanding. Sometimes this great virtue of theirs can act as a vice as they may overanalyze things until they reach an impasse. Analysis paralysis. The tendency to overanalyze to the point where you are unable to make a decision because all you see are the possibilities to fail. With a well-equipped frontal loop to handle abstract thinking, it is very difficult to beat sigmas on this terrain. Their curiosity to know makes them overly analytical. Analyzing every piece of information. In business, the Sigma male is fond of assessing his opponent, constantly weighing in on their opponents, looking for weaknesses to capitalize on. The habit of analyzing does not only end at the job site, they bring it home 
to their kitchens, where they examine every food stuff from expiring date to manufacturing country before eating and have a strict dieting habit and eating hours. Sigmas are able to do anything they put their minds to because of the ability to learn and understand things quickly and easily. Sigmas have this adaptive advantage from birth. They are born smart and most of them are gifted. They are always the smartest ones in the room. Sigmas have a way of seeing things. When all hope is lost, the people around them turn to them for hope. Sigmas are able to learn and develop many skills on their own as long as it catches their attention. The first rule of success is believe in yourself. And the reason Sigmas are independent and very successful is because they believe in themselves. When you know who you are, where you come from and where you are headed, coupled with a strong belief system, you become invincible and unstoppable. Sigmas live by this philosophy and believing in themselves makes it difficult for people to influence their decisions. They know they are smart and have what it takes to do whatever they want. Many people are intimidated by the level of efficiency exhibited by Sigmas. Sigmas are a mini version of the supercomputer. Their entire makeup is equipped for efficiency. How do Sigmas maintain high levels of efficiency? By effective use of the two resources they have in limited supply, time and energy. They understand the value of time in the productive process. Sigmas make judicious use of their time by choosing to work in the most ungodly hours where distractions are less and concentration is top-notch. They also understand the value of delegating less complex tasks to competent people to ensure efficiency. Division of labor is key in this process, assigning the right task to the right individual at the right time. Organization is also important, and no one does it better than Sigmas. Sigmas are self-sufficient. You will hardly find them seeking more than they need. They live frugal lifestyles that allows them with much to take care of virtually every need of theirs. This makes it difficult to buy Sigma's opinion with material gifts. It is not in their nature to ask for help here and there. They will rather eliminate those unwanted desires and forget about the things they can afford than go borrowing. Sigmas want many things and the reason for this is because their wants are limited by their imagination. Even though they have many wants, they are not desperate and won't stoop too low for any reason to achieve them. Material possessions are least of their worries. They are contented wherever they are and know that the only way to change their status is through hard work. Sigmas are the only group of people that can intimidate anyone with just looks. Apart from the dead look that comes naturally to them, here is one thing that makes Sigmas intimidating. They are intimidating because they want to be intimidating. Intimidation helps them get through difficult situations without having to batter their way out with words. It keeps them safe and ensures their respect. Nobody gets to bother them without a good reason. Breaking a promise as far as Sigmas are concerned is like breaking someone's heart. Making promises you can't fulfill is a dead giveaway to Sigmas. Don't say things for sin's sake. Say them because you are able of making them come true. They will go to great lengths if they have to just to honor a promise and expect everyone to do same. They say and do whatever they say. Nothing is impossible with Sigmas. Their strength, power and talent is in their words. Although they don't speak much, the few words that comes out of their mouth is enough to build or blow down an entire city. They keep their promises and hold others accountable for theirs. Please take a moment and give this video a like and do consider subscribing. Thanks for being there.